Welcome back. All right, the next milling operation we're going to work on is going to be this 4-axis slot. Now, a lot of times in CAM softwares, they make machining harder than it really needs to be. I mean, if you think about it, the 4-axis slot is nothing, and it should be nothing. Now, here's how it works in Top Solid. What you're going to do is you're going to select the face to machine, you're going to right-click, and you're going to go, yes, under 2D to end milling, because it's still just an open pocket, isn't it? So I'm going to go to end milling. Now, when I go to end milling, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and turn on multi-axis. Now, multi-axis became available because of the definition of the machine. The machine knows we can do four-axis work, so Top Solid is, ex is exposing more functionality. Here, I'm going to switch to four-axis radial mode, and as soon as I do, boom, I get some toolpath. Awesome. Now, here what I want to do is I need to go in and change my tool because, in fact, this tool just is too big to work on that part. So I'm going to come in, use slot mill, double click, and I'm going to search for a different tool. I want to use a quarter inch end mill. And here maybe I'm going to use this one here, nice little extension tool. Perfect. We'll go ahead and validate. And like that, you're now going to see the wrapped tool path. Now what's even cooler than that is, again, how quick everything is happening. Now here's one little thing. You can see here it generates all the tool path, but the but Top Solid doesn't know where to start with the toolpath, so we go all the way to the extent of the part. So here, you still got to be a little bit of an NC programmer. We're going to come into the Altitudes tab, and all we're going to do is change our starting altitude to be at a specific point. And what point? I'm just going to zoom up, and I'm going to find one of the endpoints here of the profile. Perfect. Like that, it's now going to measure that radially. I can come in, and I can set my depth of cut, my step over depth of cut, I can set maybe this I want to be 60 thousandths, cool, maybe I want to leave 10 thousandths here, maybe I want to leave 10 thousandths on the wall, awesome. But at the end of the day, we have now successfully just made a four axis toolpath. And what's even cooler than that is, of course, we simulate everything. You get to see exactly what's going on and how. And notice it's plunging off the slot in the open air automatically because that's just the right way to cut a feature like this. And the best part about all of it is you didn't have to think hard to get there, did you? Nice.